All right, in this video, I want to show you some of the other cool things that you can do with Connected. It's more than just an alarm panel installation because Connected is really just a microcontroller that can control any kind of actuators or sensors. And so for this example, I want to show you how I use Connected to replace my, my old sprinkler controller for my uh, backyard sprinklers and also a garage door opener. What we're looking at here is the connected DIY board. Now this is the Node MCU base and the Node MCU, and these are available today. I've been selling these on connected.io for since since June of 2017, and you can get one during this Kickstarter and you can do this today. Uh, there's no no waiting. These DIY boards are are manufactured and we can ship them right away. This is the uh, old sprinkler controller that was here with my house and this black wire here is going outside to the to the backyard where the sprinklers are. Now I have a fairly small backyard so I only have one sprinkler valve zone. Um, many homes that uh, may have four or five even six zones uh, or maybe even more than that and you can control up to six with one connected board and that's what this relay does here. So this is a relay module and all a relay does is it, it switches a higher voltage uh, output from a low voltage, in this case the connected microcontroller signal. So on this side we have the low voltage signal from connected, and on this side we have the, um, the other higher voltage switch devices. Now I have two relays here, uh, and the top one is for my sprinkler controller. Most sprinkler controllers, uh, at least in the United States, operate on 24 volts or 26 volts AC power. It's actually fairly low power, but I've bought this really cool um, AC power transformer that has two different power outputs. We've got the 24 volt AC output and a 12 volt DC output. And why that's important is because the connected board runs off of DC power but the sprinkler controller needs AC power to actuate. So with one power adapter, and I thought this was really convenient, it's only about $15 on Amazon, with one power adapter you can get both types of power and that kind of saves you from having to plug in multiple things. Of course you could do, if I, if I had more than one plug here, I could do it with two separate power adapters, but this was a little bit more convenient for me. So I'm gonna plug that back in, and as you see I've got the wires coming up here, to power the connected board from the 12 volt DC side and to power the sprinkler controller from the 24 volt AC side. And now I've set this up so that my microcontroller can switch the, the sprinklers uh, basically through the connected smart app. So let's take a look and if I go to automation, go back to the, my connected smart app, now I have a unit in the garage, so I'll go to my garage unit and I'll show you how that's configured. I'm using pin D1 as a switch and that is called sprinklers to be able to turn on and off the sprinklers. So I've set up my connected board to control my sprinkler here and you'll see um, if I scroll down to my home and I have my sprinklers, let's just turn them on and you'll see the little red light come on on this, this relay switch and there goes the sprinklers. Now another really cool thing is that uh, SmartThings integrates perfectly with Google Assistant so you can do this with voice command too. So let's turn off the sprinklers. Turn off the sprinklers. Okay, turning off the sprinklers. And that's all there is to it. So of course I replaced my sprinkler timer with my sprinklers and now it's cool that I can turn it on and off with my app or, or with my voice, but of course most of us want to have sprinklers on a timer, so that's very easy to do with SmartThings, and I use the, the Smart Lighting app to do so. Um, this is simple, um, this is all you have to do. So I use the Smart Lighting application, and I set an automation to turn on the sprinklers uh, 20 minutes before sunrise. All you have to do is go in here, what do you want to control? I want to control my sprinklers and I want to turn them on and then a trigger at sunrise and then an offset of minus 20 minutes. So that'll make sure that my sprinklers turn on 20 minutes before sunrise and then I have a complementary automation to turn off the sprinklers at about five minutes before sunrise. So they go on for 15 minutes every morning. After I got my sprinkler controller up and running great, 
I realized, well, I already have a connected board in the garage, and I have a garage door opener in the garage, so why not use some of the other capabilities of connected, since each connected board supports six devices, uh, to control my garage door opener. Now, a hardwired garage door switch is actually a very simple device. It's just a simple circuit, and all we have to do is um, connect that circuit to a wire that's leading up to the hardwired garage door switch that's going to one of these relays. And then I set this up as a momentary switch in, in SmartThings. So let me show you that. Let's go back to the connected Smart app and go to my garage panel. And I've got the momentary switch named garage door set up on pin D2. And now let's see how it works. And a momentary switch basically means that it just makes a momentary contact of those two wires uh, on, on, on the microcontroller trigger. So if I go back to my home, I can see my garage door. And I can press this to close it. But that's not so much fun. Uh, let's try it with Google Assistant. Close the garage door. And that's all there is to it. So you can see there are a lot more uses to a connected microcontroller than just an alarm panel. So please back us today so we can build more cool things like this. Besides sprinklers and garage doors, we can also do holiday lights controller. We can also do an air conditioner or a heat controller, fountain controller. There's so many things that you can do with a connected board. Back us today on Kickstarter so we can develop these products and make them available to you. Thank you so much.